Does your friend's 3D prints look better than yours, even though you have the same printer? Well, the slicer could play a big role in it. Let me take you through how I set up my slicer and I set up my profiles for the print quality that I get and the prints that I do. So I use Creality Print for my newer generation printers, my Ender 3 V3 Plus and my K1. So I'm going to take you through how I set up a profile for my V3 Plus. So if you have a look on the top left hand corner, if you have a fresh install of Creality Print, to set your printer is very easy. You go to select remove printers and it will bring up a menu and you just tick the, the print you have with the nozzle size that you have. I have the V3 Plus with the 0.4 nozzle selected here. For today, I'm going to set up a profile for generic PLA because that's a PLA I mostly use and I mostly print with. I do print with Hyper PLA and PETG and other, and other filaments, but for today, let's have a look at the PLA. So what I do is I take the standard 0.2 profile. You see they already have a V3 PLA profile set up, but I'm going to take you through the same process again. 0.2 standard profile, and I just go and change what I like and what I don't like. So as a disclaimer, there is a million settings in your slicer, right? You can go and change your settings to tune and calibrate your printer to the nth degree. I'm just going to show you the settings that I like to change. So these settings I feel is a good balance between filament used and the time it takes to print the part. So what I do is I take the, the standard 0.2 profile and I just go and change what I like and what I don't like. So I leave it on 0.2. The rest of the settings I leave the same. On wall loops, I like to do three wall loops. I like to do five top, four bottom, 10% infill, and I like to do cubic infill. That's a good balance between filament used, print time, and strength. On the speed, I like to drop the speed a bit. So I go to 60% of these settings or 66% of these speed settings. So these are the settings that I like to use for my generic PLAs. Hyper PLAs, of course, you can leave the setting the same. With these settings and the reduced speed, I haven't had any issues with clogged nozzles or jammed up extruders. If you stick to these settings, you'll be 100% fine. Like I said, Hyper PLA, you can bump the settings up a bit, you can bump that speed up because Hyper PLA is built to, to print faster. This specific profile, we're not going to look at supports. I'll do a separate video on how I do my supports and I'll run it through a, run it through a couple examples on when to use tree supports and when to use standard supports. There's Prime Tower, Flash, Options, Advance. I leave the same. I turn brim off for my default profile. If you print something that's got a small footprint on the bed, I would suggest print brim on or even print or print with, uh, with raft. It just puts down a nice base layer for your print to stick on. But 90% of the time, if I have a small footprint that I need to print, I print with a brim. I feel it keeps it nice and tidy on the bed. So this is the basic settings that I change just to run my basic profiles. We'll do a separate video on supports, how I run my supports, when to use two supports, when to use standard supports. So it, it's all model depending on what you want to print, how your printer profile is going to be set up. But like I said, for this one, 90% of the prints you're going to do for hobby stuff or stuff that's going to sit on your shelf, this profile is more than 100%. Okay guys, if you have any other questions, if you feel I should do more detail on a specific topic that we covered in these quick settings because this is just very quick settings that I change. I will do a separate video on that. If there's any other tips and tricks that you guys would like to see, reach out to me, send me a DM, drop a comment. Okay guys, please hit that like, hit that follow, and as always, happy printing.